Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. We're doing an update today on the chicks. They're exactly four weeks old now, and boy, have they grown a lot since last update. Look at the size of these guys, and they've got full-on tails going now, and they're almost completely, aye, almost completely um, feathered out. They're hard to catch and hard to hold on to. They're a little too big. Here we go. So you can see, uh, we've got a little bit of peach fuzz up in the, the neck area, but uh, I mean, it's almost completely feathered out. Now we still got a little while until I can put them outside. Technically it's six weeks. Um, that one's mostly feathered out, same with that one, but this guy, this guy's a little bit, a little bit of peach fuzz right up by the neck. Sorry, it's not super bright in here. Hopefully you guys can see. Um, we've got some good combs going here, so they're growing really well. The tails are doing well. Boy, it's amazing how fast these guys grow. Now, I've turned off the light now um, because they're at 75 degrees currently, and we keep the house right around that. And actually, this room heats up a little bit more, so this room stays at around probably 78 degrees throughout the day. At night, it'll drop a little bit, but they're doing okay with that. Now, it's just a waiting game until we can take them outside. We already got a dog crate to introduce them to the other chickens. And so we'll just put them in the dog crate to keep the other chickens from them so they don't get killed. The other chickens will uh, until they get used to them. So we can put them out there in the day, bring them back at night. Uh, we'll start that pretty soon and start kind of introducing them to them so they get used to each other. The other thing I did is I got one of these little things like a rabbit water. They just come up and tap it and it lets water out. Um, because they were just kind of kicking it, all this stuff into their water dish, pooping in it, and it just wasn't sanitary. So uh, I still got to take out the pine shavings out of this because they kick it into there all the time and that fills up and then they can't eat. So I got to fix that about two or three times a day. I just did it now. Um, I'm also having to change out this bedding probably every two or three days now. Really, um, it starts to stink even the first day. Uh, but I just don't have the time to switch this out that often. Plus pine shavings aren't cheap. So I'm doing every two or three days currently, probably towards the end there when they get quite a bit bigger and pooping more. Um, it's probably going to end up being every, almost every day at that last week or two. Um, so we're almost there. Hopefully soon we can get these guys out and introduced. Hopefully they're all females. Hopefully they're all hens. I have a feeling this one is a, look at that comb. I have a feeling that's a male. That's probably a rooster. I have a feeling this one might be as well. Those are the two most alert and kind of more aggressive ones. The other ones run from me. They get a little scared, as you can see, these two. And then this one, He's like, when I get close, he, he just rears up and tries to peck at me. Now this one's interested because, see, he's running towards me. This one is interested, like thinking I have food because I try to feed them. But even in the beginning, this guy kind of came at me. And same with this one. Um, this one's a little more scared. But yeah, so I have a feeling that one's a rooster. So we'll see. Hopefully they're all hens because that's all I'm going to keep. I'm not going to keep a rooster because we already have one. By the way, if you guys are interested in doing this, um, this tote I got at Home Depot, it's huge. So this one's the 55 gallon, okay? And then you get those 25 gallon totes that are like the black ones with the yellow lids or red lids. Those are smaller. Uh, this is double the size, so it gives a lot more room. And I like the length here because then it allows, you know, you got the heat over here maybe, and then they can come over here if they get too warm. So it gives them a little more length and depth to, kind of regulate their temperature, which is good. So I got this at Home Depot, like I said, it's 55 gallon, it works just fine. So next week I'll do another update. Probably next week I'll have these guys out during the day in the other chicken run with the other chickens. So that'll be a pretty cool little update. Hopefully, hopefully it goes well and I'll bring you guys along for that. Well, thanks for watching everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you guys could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.